we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done Oh, the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright It is Aaron Feenster here with the whole clan today. We are going to go on another farm tour with Nikolai Telenov from NNTV. He has a TV show, been running for 26 years on agriculture. If you've been watching our channel, we've did four episodes uh, recently with him. And today we are on the road again, going to visit some more farm. And uh, yeah, we're pretty excited about it. Hi! We're very thankful to be able to see more of Nizhny Novgorod and also more of Russian agriculture in general. So we're hoping you guys like this as well. As always, please drop your comments down below. Tell us what you like, what you don't like, what you'd like to see more of, and um, just your general views and opinions on agriculture and on all things. We are here at a small goat farm. Just arrived, we're gonna take a look. They have 48 goats, so we're walking out to the pasture here now. Let's go take a look. What are you saying, buddy? You see the flowers? You like the flowers? Mm hmm. The blue ones? Yeah. <laughs> What's down there? I, I should drive our van down there. We should drive our van down there? Yeah. Oh, and oh I see some goats. You see goats? Yeah. Down there. Lots of young ones here. Yeah, it's the big ones, big hairy billy. A couple of sheep hiding in amongst them. Sheep probably provide sanity. <laughs> we always found sheep are easy to keep in and goats are uh, extremely hard to keep in. 
Isn't he stinky guy? Hey. Amish beard. Amish beard, yeah, yeah, yeah. How's this? Hey. <gasps> Look at that. Почему мы приехали с города сюда? Хотели жить на земле. Везде искали варианты, где бы найти подходящее место. И Господь управил то, что здесь купили участок земли. И потом уже решили, чем мы будем заниматься в деревне. И решили заниматься сельским хозяйством. Не, никто не был, никто не был, никто не занимался фермерством никогда, просто как-то вот на земле всегда человек себя прокормит. Когда человек живет на земле, он всегда себя прокормит. И мы уже стали понимать то, что в магазинах продукция не та, которую должен, должны мы кушать. Мы хотим есть натурально. Молочко подоили. Сделали сыр или творожок сделали, детишек накормили, напоили этим молочком, и все растут здоровые. Да, конечно, трудности есть, но мы как-то их преодолеваем вместе с супругой. Yes, of course, there are difficulties, but we somehow overcome them together with my wife. Yeah, that's good. And what would you say to other people that live in the city that maybe think about coming out? You think they should try it? Бегите из города. Run away from the city. Yeah, that's my idea too. Funny mouth. It's good. Хорошо. У нас своя группа в Вайбере, и мы каждую пятницу делаем доставку по адресу. И Бутерлино доставляем покупателям, и в Нижний Новгород также покупатели доставляем. Бывает, нас приглашают в Москву торговать сыром. We have our own group in Viber, and every Friday we deliver to the addresses and deliver Bertolino, I'm not sure if that's right, to customers and also deliver to customers, oh, that's probably a town, and to customers in Nizhny Novgorod. We also invited to Moscow to trade. Wow, okay, good. I'm assuming it's profitable. Выгодно. Profitable. So you can live on 48 goats only? Пока да, пока у нас да, только 48 а, поголовья коз, из них 12 дойных, а, но в следующем месяце нам надо покупать еще три головы коровы. А, в том году мы победили в конкурсе 
от Минсельхоза нам выдали грант на развитие сельского хозяйства, а мы приобрели э, трактор, мы приобрели навесное оборудование, и также по условиям грантам нам надо купить три головы КРС, это, то есть э, две коровы и бычка. А велик ли грант был, что вы так много купили? Ну, конечно, в том году Минсельхоз добавил, да, должны нам были, мы подавались на 8 миллионов, но так как было участников очень много, разделили на всех, мы получили 5 миллионов 200 тысяч, по-моему. So that year we won the competition from the Minister of Agriculture. We were given a grant for the development of agriculture and we purchased a tractor. We arrived with attachments on also according to the terms of the grant. We need to buy three heads of X, that is two cows and a bull. Uh, that year the Ministry of Agriculture added, yes, we should have been submitted for eight million, but since there was a lot of participants, we divided them among everyone. We received five million, two hundred thousand in my opinion. Okay, that helps. How many goats do you need in order to live off it? To have enough money to live. Ну, у нас в планах построить ферму на 200 голов коз. Я думаю, что этого будет достаточно. Они и сейчас уже себя окупают, потому что все равно козы и сыры они дороже, чем коровье. И я думаю, что Должно это все осуществиться, и Бог даст, все будет хорошо. Plans to build a farm for 200 goats. I think this will be enough for them, and now they are already paying for themselves because the raw goat meat is still more expensive than cow meat, and I think that all this should come true, and God willing, everything will be fine. 200. How do you say 200? 200 goats? Да. Yeah? Okay. No. No. Спасибо. Ready, you could just introduce your family and your farm and what kind of products you sell, where you sell them, where people can find you. У нас есть группа в Viber. Мы продаем через интернет в основном свою продукцию. Почти год у нас существует группа. Вообще, если честно, мы не рассчитывали так быстро начинать и продавать свою продукцию. Ну, как-то нас поддержало государство, поддержал у нас Россельхозбанк, поддержал. И мы потихонечку-потихонечку продвигаемся. То есть магазинов у нас нет, и мы их не собираемся открывать. Будем в основном только через группу в Вайбере и где у нас еще ВКонтакте у нас есть. Также сюда личные... люди уже приезжают. Да, и сюда у нас сюда приезжают, уже о нас узнают. А, и к нам уже сюда ездят. И мы даже не столько сыром уже хотим тоже заниматься, но и агротуризмом хотим развивать. Очень хотелось бы, чтобы к нам приезжали гости, развлекались здесь. Да, даже, даже есть такие у нас покупатели, которым говоришь, они из Нижнего Новгорода. Говоришь, у нас есть доставка до Нижнего. Они говорят, нет, мы хотим сесть на машину, к вам и приехать в гости, приехали. сами купить и сами выбрать. Mm -hmm. Для нас это говорит, очень говорит, интересно. И какое-то, говорит, хотя бы будет путешествие. Я хочу транслировать, да. Okay, on Viber, yes, we have a group on Viber. We sell online, mainly our products. We had a group for almost a year. To be honest, we didn't expect to start and sell our products so quickly. Well, somehow the state supported us. The Russian Agricultural Bank supported us, and little by little we are moving forward. That is, we don't have stores, and we're not going to open them. Mostly only through the group on Viber, and where we also have V contact. Yes, and people here already recognize us. They already come here to us, and we don't even want to work with cheese so much. But if we say we want to develop tourism, we would really like for guests to come and have fun. We even have customers here who say they are from Nizhny Novgorod, and say that we have delivery to Nizhny, they say no. Uh, we want to take a car and come and visit you and buy it ourselves. Oh, nice. And choose it for us. It says it's very interesting and somehow says at least there will be a trip. Dada. Can you introduce your family? Your, who, like, what is your name and what is your family name? What are your children's names? Maxim. <laughs> Piotr. 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 Шесть, ей шесть, да. Потом у нас идет Коля, он в этом году пошел в школу, первый класс заканчивается, ему 8 лет. 
Потом у нас Тимофей, он учится в Нижнем Новгороде в техникуме, ему 21 год. Потом у нас Лерочка Валерия, ей 27 лет, у нее уже свои детишки. Вот. И супруга моя Верочка, а я Максим. Okay, so they have five children. It's Maxim and Verochka. Vera. 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 So they have three children here at home. Two are away Small. at school, Small. and the school locally here picks up the children for school. All right, so family farm run by Maxim and his wife and children. Uh, two of them are off at school already, and three children here at home. They're like higher education. They're a little older. So he's milking 12 goats here at the moment, and he's planning on growing to 200. Is his hopes? They were not planning on shipping milk at this point of the game yet, but it actually ended up going a lot faster than they thought. They've got customers now, people driving all the way from Moscow down here, uh, not not from Moscow, sorry, from Nizhny and other areas, and they do ship uh, their products, different lines of cheeses that he's learning to make. Uh, so it's working out very well for them. They've also received government support. Russia's big on that right now. There's lots of government support available for agriculture, uh, also other things. But uh, since agriculture is our main uh, focus, that's very helpful for us and for anyone else that's wishing to farm. There is a push on to get more people like him to leave the city and come back to agriculture. There's so many acres, uh, hectares here they call it, uh, just laying there that, that aren't being used or not being used effectively. And so uh, there is a big push for people like him to do that. And that's exactly what he did. He's got no farming experience, no farming background. Uh, he just decided city life was not as fun as some people think it is. I would agree with him. And he moved out here. So he's got uh, 11 hectares that they own, and he's leasing another, mm, I'm sure what he said, 120, I think, hectares. Uh, and then they, here they're hoping to build a farm. So you can see it's fairly small beginnings. Everything starts somewhere. Uh, but this is plenty for 48 goats. And then as things grow and as he sells more products, he can obviously uh, build bigger facilities. I don't know if he likes that grass. Maybe you got to find something better. Yeah, Try feeding this one. Yeah. No? Maybe he's full. He doesn't want anymore. I give him this. Uh -huh. I want as, as you can see, Russia has many different size operations. Uh, same as Canada and the States. We have small little family farms. Uh, people with only a few hectares or acres and people with huge uh, enterprises. On the way here we passed another one, another guy with 10,000 hectares, one of the uh, most successful enterprises here in Yuzhny Novgorod. But you don't have to do that. You can also come here and successfully operate on a smaller amount, which is what he's doing with very little agricultural background, or basically no agricultural background, very little agricultural experience. Uh, he's still making it work. And I think that's a testament to uh, the possibilities here, right? It is difficult to start anywhere in agriculture, but if you have the right mindset and the willingness and you have a government that stands behind farmers and isn't constantly squeezing them, uh, you have a government that is willing to help you, educate you, and, uh, and even f provide financial support, then there are a lot of possibilities. We see the opposite in the West where governments seem to be squeezing farmers more and more and more and no longer appreciating what it takes to get it done. The little guy uh, sadly gets pushed out constantly. So it's very nice to see an enterprise like this being able to operate on, on a small scale. What's that? Following us? <laughs> <laughs> Typical goats, hey? Eh? These ones got out. They don't want to go home. I'm sure Russia has these expressions too, but grass is always greener on the other side of the fence. And so goats just always break out. I just never had much luck keeping one in. Right, Mom? She can attest to that. Where'd she go? Uh, yes. Are you in there? There you are. I am. Hi. That's why she doesn't like goats. She wants sheep. I do not like goats for that reason. Well, they're in the barn. And we in have a pasture barn, yeah. that has no holes in the fence. Right. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes.
моют, там поливают, но это только на летний техническая период. Вода. Да, да, техническая вода. Значит, Арин, а, а, вот это сооружение, это водокачка, она включается только летом, дает из реки Пьяна техническую воду в село, чтобы можно было поливать, ну, для каких технических нужд. А зимой здесь живет всего три семьи, и у каждой семьи есть своя скважина для питьевой воды. Well, that building up there is what he's talking about. This is a water pump. It is turned on only in the summer. It gives technical water from the river to the village so that you can irrigate well for what technical needs. And in winter, only three families live here, and each family has his own well for drinking water. Aha. Uh -huh. So this is mainly just for irrigation. <laughs> У меня такой сигнал на напоминание о каком-то событии и будильник. Мадлен! Ай! Those are pretty flowers. Uh, what would they say here? We would say kitty 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 kitty. I'd say. <laughs> oh, nice kitty. Nice discussion on the differences. We're so used to living in a field by ourselves and here they all live in towns. And so just the pros and cons of doing that. Uh, snow removal was one of them. Obviously the state removes all the snow here. They don't have to worry about it. And I said, well, that's not a big deal. We just clean our own snow. So uh, it's just a different mentality. Interesting. We're now at the cheese part. So this is where they actually make the cheese. Shoes off. Duh. Duh. This one. Remove shoes to keep it clean. Yeah. Again, small facility compared to the last one, but this is all he needs right now. Very nice and clean in here as well. Sanitized. All stainless. You can put those on if you want. Again, no? That's a cultural thing. <laughs> this is? This is our oven. This is our oven. That's right. Whale cheese. No, it's in there. In this. Can we open it? Yeah? Does it get warm? Might need to... Don't understand? No. Does it get warm in there? Нет рубов. Oh, it's like cold. Uh, it's like cold. Yeah, okay. It's cold and cold. It's warm and cool. It's warm and cool, okay. No, no. So it's all made in there? How many uh, skolka liter? 200. What's 200? 200 liter. 200. 200 liter. Oh, wow. That's a lot. You make cheese every day? Yeah. Yeah. 
one time a week, two times? Three, four times a week. Three times. Three times a week. And then what? Fridge? Oh, here's all the things here. Ah. All the cheese presses or molds? In different forms. No. Okay. Yeah, press. You can press two, 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 four? Oh, four at a time. Hydraulic? Potion, though. Uh, air. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pneumatic. Nice. Oh, apparently the door was not built for a Dutchman. This <laughs> was Ah, beautiful. That's all the cheeses. Wonderful. Wax? Uh, what's wax? Special covering. Okay, not wax. New wasp. No, okay. Wax at a wasp? Yeah. Wasp. And that's where the agent? Yeah, come have a Oh, you got your shoes on. You're not supposed to have your shoes on. <gasps> Terrible. На один сейчас щетку. Окей. Да? Ты клюзит лар. Ну, nice. Nice, eh? Beautiful. Uh, How many years? Это камеры два года. Two years. Two years. And then he's gonna sell it at three years? What? Uh, uh, Или что? Three years. Or like, What? Three years. Well, he said some cheese he sells at three years. He oh, ages at three years. What weight was revolved? What? That's three? We'll start with these refrigerators. Okay. And after that, they and then they go in there, 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 there and sit. And that's a refrigerator as well? It's cold? It's cold. 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 Oh, right there. 10 degrees. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it has, nice. to be, it has to be warm enough for mold to grow. Ah. It can't be cold. cold. That makes sense. Yes. So we got cheeses in here as well. This cheese too? No, no, no. See it, huh? Little cheese balls. Paprika? Paprika. No, no. Cool. More cheeses. The blue one. Koji. Goat. Goat. No, no, no. But well, they're all goat, no? И кози, и корови. Корова, ты? А, корови молоко мы покупаем. Купить корова, молоко. Да, да. Right, 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 right. Nice. Beautiful. Watch my head, look at this. Huh? I did not build that for me. <laughs> so for all of you who say I speak more Russian words, I said a few in here for you. I was just asking how he cuts the cheese, so that thing goes in. Ah, and that goes in there. It spins around. Ah, on this, on here. Da, 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 da. That's how he cuts his curds. So the one cuts it the lengthways, and the other one cuts it the other way. Ah. Ah. Da. Начало мешаем, потом режем. Сколько рубль? For something, I guess. Uh -huh. Uh, 250 тысяч. What's that? 250 тысяч. 250,000 rubles for this. Wow. Uh, everything? Don't know? <laughs> no. Too much. Too much. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's always with farming, there's a lot of investment goes in and then you hopefully get paid one day. You have baby chicks? Oh yeah. Little meat birds. Miasa? All for meat. Там еще другие, пойдем. Это моя вот. Давай, показывай. Здесь вверх хозяйка. Я, я, я. For you. Да. Да, пойдемте. It's Vera's hobby. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. We follow? Vera, it's your hobby, I said. Yeah, I understood. Oh, lovely gardens. This is like a beautiful homestead. Right here.
And for all of you trying to set up a homestead back in Canada or America, just think of the price savings here. The land is so much cheaper. Oh, this is awesome. Nice goose. What's goose? Goose. Goose. Oh. Mm -hmm. Хорошо goose. Goose. Очень хорошо goose. It's always a joke that every homestead starts with a couple chickens and then it goes to goats. And so this place has chickens and goats. What more do you really need out of life than this? A place to grow all your own food? Eggs, chickens, vegetables, fruits, milk, and enough to sell. Those of you who've been with us for a long time uh, would know on our last place, that's what our goal was, is to set everything up to be self-sufficient so that we could grow as much as possible of our own food and then sell the excess. That was the whole model that we started to build with. If you're not familiar with that farm, I'd encourage you to go back and look at our old place and how we set that up. And we're hoping to do that here again very soon. We're gonna purchase some land here very soon and start building everything all over again. Um, but that, this is essentially what it is. is what we call a homestead in Canada or in the States. Homesteading, and a lot of people are doing it. They're returning back to their roots, growing uh, as much as possible of their own food. So they know that what is going on their children's table and on their children's plate is actually good for them and, uh, and good to eat. So it's really cool. It's really nice to see this because this is basically a homestead. But then on top of that, these guys are producing enough to sell some. And that then provides an income for what we love to do, right? So just having a homestead is not very affordable you obviously still need an income and a way to provide for your family and this is one way of doing it by growing more than you need you can sell the rest this is really good did you try this three year run We looked at one of these before in the yard. I don't think it had a loader on it. This is a Lovell tractor. Very compact, but it's 80 horse, which is more than sufficient for what I need. It's locked at the moment, of course, but this farmer has it. And this was also, uh, part of it was a grant from the government. Quick attach. Quick attach here. This is Very nice. Grand That's Grant as well. YouTube. Russian. This is made in Russia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is a little different than what we're used to. Our baler, the Case IH baler, it's a New Holland baler really with Case IH paint. They're all belts, whereas this one is not. So I would love to see one of these run. But these are built in Russia, they are available, and also 
available for grants. Russia has great grants on agricultural grants where you can receive uh, up to 60% of your money back in grants if approved. Of course, not everyone is approved, but it is, uh, it is available. And so this guy did receive some grants. I'm not sure how much, but there are grants. There. Then you have to ask yourself, what's your government doing for you? Because the Russian government is making this available. Again, not to everyone. You have to apply and you have to be approved, of course. But uh, it's a huge boost, especially to the little guys. And some people would say, well, grants are only for the big guys. Well, this is a little guy and he got grants. We are back home again, everybody. We had a great visit today. Thanks again. Huge thank you to Nikolai Talanov for taking us along. Uh, we really appreciate that, him taking time out of his day. Uh, reached out to us first of all and then just inviting us on these tours. It's very normal for him to cruise around so he knows lots of farmers, lots of roads, knows where he's going and uh, it's a huge benefit to us, people that we would never probably get to meet now we get to see. And you guys get to see it as well. So go to his channels, check it out. I'll try to put some description, or put them in the description here again and uh, even in the comments. I know he reads a lot of them so just, uh, just make sure you thank him for that. Again, a big thank you to Maxine and Vera and to Nikolai for taking us along and uh, just being able to see everything that we got to see. I really enjoyed it. I think the whole family did, and I hope you guys did as well. Uh, once again, I ask you guys to give her a big thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you feel like. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already, and please share with everybody you know, especially if you're, well, it doesn't matter where you are, anywhere you are, just share. Help us grow this channel. Help us to make it larger. We enjoy doing this, and I think you guys enjoy watching as well. So God bless you guys. We'll catch you all in the next one. Hey, darling. I tell you what's been on my mind Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light Hey darling We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car real far let's get out we can leave this city let's drive to the open air near the country
sad is so pretty.